Hey guys, Fred here. The following clips are from Elders Rising, episode 9. And I hope you enjoy. <laughs> there was one other verse that I was going to read in 4th Nephi. What is it? 46. It's just the one that... It, the last sentence in it says something to the effect of, like, they traf trafficked in all manners of traffic. And the thing that came to my mind was human trafficking. Verse 46. And it came to pass that the robbers of Gadianton did spread over all the face of the land, and there were none of none that were righteous, save it were the disciples of Jesus. And gold and silver did they lay up in the store in abundance, and did traffic in all manner of traffic. That made me think of the human trafficking that's going on today. Are we trafficking in all manner of traffic? I think that the answer is clear. Well, look at this latest scandal with the Bidens. They're uncovering trafficking. Mm -hmm. You can be sure as the, grass, as the grass is green that when it comes to the shady dealings of the underworld, the most horrible things imaginable, you'll find the political elite there too. Yep. Trafficking children, especially for the purpose of the sex trade. I don't I don't think there's anything worse that you could go up to the Lord with at the end. As yeah, I traffic children for for perverted pleasures. And if you it's it's traumatic to actually realize that that is going on. But if you don't acknowledge it, you're really turning a blind eye. If you look into like Jimmy Salvo, like Epstein, you look into these 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 players that there is so much. I mean, the FBI. They tweeted out about they they tweeted these documents. This is what three four years ago, the Finders Keepers Guild, or I don't know if it's a guild or a group, uh, about and and this is from the from the FBI, um, of these these groups of of people within the government that were trafficking children, and they were using using the resources of the FBI, or something to that effect. I don't remember, but but it was it was declassified and and put out there by the official sources, which you should always be skeptical of. But then again, who's going to read it? Who's going to look at it? You look up Finder Keepers. And, and it's it, it was a, a group that, I don't remember if the, I think the FBI was investigating them, and I think that they had, they had um, links to the FBI as well. Like they were, it was a self-investigation type thing, if I remember right. It could be, again, this was a few years ago that they, maybe it was a year and a half ago or so that they tweeted it out. But it, I was look, I looked at that and I was reading it and I was just like, what the heck is going on and why are we trusting these these organizations blindly? We shouldn't. No, no, we shouldn't. The the infection has traveled. From the trunk clear down to the roots of the deep the deep state, people will laugh at you. Oh yeah, our government's that corrupt. Well it, it freaking it is. is. Power corrupts absolutely. It is. And to place your trust in a three letter government agency, I don't know why you would. They've proven themselves time and time again that they are not to be trusted. Look at look at the ATF and the FBI in the nineties. Ruby Ridge. Waco. In Ruby Ridge, yes, there was evidence of a crime having been committed, and they got way out of hand. They killed Randy Weaver's son, his dog, and his wife, shot him and his friend over, what, a quarter of an inch on a barrel of a shotgun? A law that shouldn't exist anyway? And people are like, oh, well, he shouldn't have broke the law. Well, you're only required to follow the laws if they are just and righteous. And I have, we have that argument with people in the church all the time. Well, well, we're supposed to honor and uphold the law. Yes, as long as that law is righteous and just. 
the people, the Nazis that were killing Jews, they were upholding the law. Law is not a good basis off of what is moral and what is right. And you look at Waco, everybody says that, yeah, well, when, when they decided to raid the compound, Dave Koresh had the people light it on fire. I don't believe that's true because for the entire time, they were saying, we want a peaceful outcome to this, and they had one set up. The FBI got impatient. They started running the tanks in and pumping gas into the buildings, and by that time, the power had been shut off, and so they were lighting everything with their little kerosene lamps, knocked those over, started the whole place on fire, killed 70-some-odd people, mostly women and children, and there was not any evidence of any crime ever committed. Not one. They had speculation, and the ATF rolled up, and I believe they shot a dog. So you have two armed groups facing off. There's a shot fired. What's naturally going to happen? If you're sitting in your place, minding your own business, which they were doing, and they were armed, which they had the right to they be. had the right to be, so they exchanged fire and started this siege. Over what? They still really don't know. But everybody's like, yeah. Yeah, they should have, well, they should have just gone along. Why? Where do you draw the line of, you know, just giving in to the, to the despotic demands of the government or living your own life? Yeah, they were a religious com commune and they were kind of weird, but that's not reason and that's not justification to just kill people. And if you look back in more recent history and... It was 2016 when they killed Lavoie Finicum at, at the, the, the Mulholland yeah. Wildlife Refuge up in Oregon. Yeah, I mean, what, what they were doing up there, they probably really shouldn't have been that involved with it. But they were standing up for what they believed. They were well within their rights to create a militia and stand their grounds based off the Constitution. Well... The Voy Finicum and a couple other people were on their way in to go talk to the sheriff. The FBI sets up a roadblock. And without, I watched the video, without any other kind of rules of engagement, they just start shooting at the truck. So he goes off the side and the boy gets out of the truck and goes walking around. He's already been shot at this point. And he's trying to show one of the FBI agents that he's been shot. And... I don't necessarily condemn the FBI agent that fired the fatal shot on Lavoy Finicum because in that situation, I probably would have done the same thing because it, it did from the back. It would look like he was going for a gun. So I would say that it was a justified shoot. But they put these guys in this horrible position, and the FBI is just case after case after case of just doing whatever the hell they want and killing people just because they disagree and they have the audacity to tell the feds no. That's not okay. That's, it's, it's, it's the thing that I was thinking of is like, if you want, if you're curious about how bad the, um, this has gotten, explain to me why the Department of Education has its own specialized SWAT team. Isn't that weird? Why? Why? Why would? Why would our Department of Education need that? There, there is so much that the go, the, the bureau, bureau, bureaucracy of our government is a self-feeding glutton for power against everything that it was supposed to be. And and the the people who founded our our government, they thought that meeting once every year for Congress was going to be too much. Why? This is why. When you, when what is it? What the saying? Idle hands are the devil's plaything. Mm -hmm. Point in case. Uh, the corruption is so vast more vast than anything that I'm sure we could even imagine again thanks for watching Elders Rising episode 9 
um, little buddy. If you like, subscribe and share, and have a great day. Rock the party, everybody. Regardless of what Mitch says, rock the party.